Hi guys, Mandy here, and I have Little Miss Fable. She is the 16 inch Abigail kit or sculpt. What do you say for silicones? Is it sculpt? Um, she's the 16 inch Abigail blank <laughs> from Silicone Snuggle Babies. Um, I know I say this all the time, but she is just my favorite. She is all snuggled up in a little muslin blanket. It does have some unicorns and rainbows on it. It's kind of hard to see because she's all wrapped up snug as a bug in a rug with a little um, dusty rose pacifier and a pink little hat. She just looks so sweet. And I know she's a tiny little thing, but uh, she just feels so good to hold. And I am gonna take her soother out here. I've, even though she does have a open mouth, I still um, cut the soother because I just hate trying to like shove a pacifier in there. I'm so afraid of her um, mouth tearing, but she has just such a sweet sleeping face with really cute little lips and that double chin. So I don't often want to put a pacifier. There you are. I don't often want to cover that up with a pacifier anyway. So I'm here today to share a tag video. Renee started this a week or so ago what happened to me and I was trying to think of a good story when a good story happened to me. So I will share this with you. Um, if you have followed me for a while, you've probably seen my pets pop up on videos. I have a, oh, how old is Roxy? I have a 10 year old pug and I have my little archer who we got in November and he is a chihuahua and I have a cat named Max, and I'm not quite sure if he's been in any videos. He's a big, orange, fluffy, tabby cat um, who this story is about. So he is 11 years old. Oh, there's a hair on my bottle. And I promise one day I will fill this bottle up <laughs> and I will seal it and we will have a real looking bottle, but for now we're just, playing anyway. <laughs> so this story is about my big chubby cat, Max, who he is 11 years old and I've had him since he was a baby. It was actually my mom's cat, who she still has. Um, it got out of her house and got pregnant. She's fixed now, um, but she had kittens and I've had this baby Max <laughs> since I was pregnant with my son, Tristan. So he is an outdoor cat. His dad was a stray. He's an indoor outdoor. He, when he was smaller, he spent a lot more time outside. Um, now that he's a bit older, he tends to stay inside more and he stays really close to home. Everybody on my street knows him for the most part. <laughs> they call him by name and they call him over and they give him pets. So that's probably a reason why he loves to hang around out front. You'll often see him sun tanning in my driveway. So on the weekend, we noticed, where is Max? <laughs> we couldn't find him. He wasn't in his hiding spot. His favorite chair in the basement was empty and his food bowl was filled to the brim, which like I said, my cat is huge. So that was a red flag for us. He's never run away or wandered off. He walks the street and comes behind the houses somehow and will walk along the fence and come through the back door. So I wasn't too, too, I wasn't too, too worried because, you know, the weather is above freezing right now. And I just thought maybe because it's happened before someone let him in their house, it's totally happened before and they just haven't let him out yet. But on Tuesday morning, when he still wasn't at the back door, it had been at least two days. I was worried. I was like, what happened to my cat? But I had a feeling that someone took him in, like not maliciously, but I just had a feeling that somebody took my cat in. So my lovely sister, she actually works at an animal shelter 
and she called around and nobody had seen him or had he wasn't uh, surrendered anywhere or anything like that. Um, so that reassured me that he definitely, somebody was, he was somewhere, <laughs> was someone. Um, I went for a walk and I didn't see him or anything, you know. The first thought is, was he hurt? Um, but no. So I posted in a face group, a local Facebook group for my area and someone private messaged me saying, I think I have some info about your cat. And I was like, so scared. I was like, this is a weird <laughs> way to say, I know where your cat is. So anyways, my husband called him and he was actually out front of our house. He said, do you have a red truck? And my husband said, yes. And he's like, oh no, he felt horrible because he had saw a poster for a missing cat an orange missing cat and he thought he was doing a great thing by calling the lady and saying oh I see your cat it's at blah 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 and so she came this is why I need a ring camera <laughs> she came and just took my cat from my front yard and he willingly went with her he's a friendly cat you can pick him up he doesn't love it but he probably was like oh what's happening <laughs> so she took my cat because she thought it was her cat and she had him for two days so my hut so he tells my husband this he that you know she's got your cat she believes it's hers so like it might not he was like it might not be your cat but it might be it was my cat her cat has been missing since september so i'm not sure where her cat is and i feel really bad but my husband ended up going to her house she was just a couple blocks away and said you know you got my cat that's not your cat and she was really upset because she felt horrible that she took my cat. I think deep down she knew it wasn't her cat because he, she brought him into her house and she had the brother of her cat, like they were actual brothers. And so Max and her cat were like, you know, standoffish. And if this was your cat and that was his sibling they were bffs and you know that was a red flag plus my cat is a lot fatter than her cat and why you would think your cat got fatter <laughs> being away for six months i don't know but she was super lovely and she took care of him he got a nail trim she was an ex-groomer and she trimmed up his fur around his butt so he got some tlc and i really hope that she finds her cat I hope he makes his way home somehow um but we got my cat back and he already wants to go back out <laughs> whether or not he wants to try to find his way back to her house I don't know he's never left our street but uh I am going to try extra hard to keep him in for a while um just because that was a really crazy adventure for my cat a mistaken identity but the funniest thing of all is first of all I told everybody I was like I bet somebody took him I bet you know he's with somebody and my sister even tagged me in a post of another orange cat and I said no that's not my cat and then I jokingly said wouldn't that be funny if that person who lost that cat which just found it it was actually my cat and they had my cat and so that was funny because that kind of happened but the weird random thing, like I said, my sister works at a shelter and she saw the poster for this missing cat, Loki, that's the woman's actual cat. And she sent it to me and she said, where's your cat? And I, this was a month or so ago. And I took a picture of him. He was sitting beside me and she's like, laugh out loud, just joking. But wouldn't that be funny if this was your cat and he had a secret life? <laughs> so... That is what happened to me over the weekend. This was a fun tag to share a crazy story. Definitely won't forget this. Um, so I'd love to see your um, what happened to me stories. Um, thanks, Renee, for starting this. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.